Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome to day 13 of the Redstone Advent Calendar. Today we are going to be taking a look at this really awesome little contraption that you can create using droppers, hoppers and a few comparators. It allows you to count scores or do whatever you really want with it and I think it's pretty sweet, so let's take a closer look. So as you can see over here we have got ourselves a handful of redstone lamps. I personally have set it up so that it's 5, but you can set it up so that you have as many redstone lamps as you like. Now down here we've got ourselves a button, if we hit that button you can see that the next redstone lamp turns on, hit it again, the next one turns on, hit it again, believe it or not the next one turns on, and if we hit it again the final one turns on, then if we press it once more you can see all of them turn off, and then the first one comes back on. It essentially resets the mechanism allowing you to start all over. Now for those of you who have been watching my channel for a little while you might have seen this little thing popping up in a few of my builds. I know that I've used it in Hermitcraft on the Reaction Time minigame, I also used it in TNT Basketball and a few other builds that I've done on my channel. Now the reason that I use it so often is because it's so very simple yet so very useful. All we've got here is we've got a dropper with a hopper facing upwards, when we hit the button the item inside this dropper goes up into the hopper then comes back down, this is known as a monostable circuit. Now this gives us a perfect pulse length to allow an item inside this little hopper ring here to travel from one hopper to the next hopper then relock due to this redstone turning back on. Obviously every time we hit the button it skips a hopper, then skips another hopper, then skips the other hopper, then finally when it gets to here and we turn off the redstone it goes into this set, goes right the way around the back and then comes back round to the first one. That's essentially how the entire mechanism works and it's really quite simple. Now there's no specific dimensions for this one simply because it really does depend on how big you want it to be but we're going to get things started by placing down our dropper with our hopper facing down into it make sure that you've got an item inside that dropper then you want to run a comparator output from this dropper right here up into this block like this place some redstone dust then a block with a repeater like that and now we're going to create our hopper strings so you want to place a couple blocks going across like this and then hoppers running right the way across like that and we're basically going to feed it back around. So run the hoppers around like this, hoppers going right the way around there. And because I want this to be exactly the same as this one over here, we are going to have five hoppers in this string right here. Now coming out the side of all your hoppers, you just want to place blocks next to all of those, going right the way out like that, with comparators coming out of all of these hoppers right here, redstone dust on top of all your hoppers, then you want to run those comparators into these blocks right here, with redstone lamps on top of all of those, and that is pretty much everything completed. All we have to do is chuck an item inside one of these hoppers right here. And if we chuck down a button, give it a press, you can see that our item moves across the hoppers and continues on its little cycle, making its way right the way around. So there we have it, ladies and gents. That rounds up today's video. I hope that you found it interesting. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.